A Chinese satellite company is supplying the Houthis with satellite imagery to target vessels in the Red Sea. JSR Dynamics developed Kaguntak Long Range Glide Bomb has started trials on Su-30 aircraft. Indian Army has started deployment of kamikaze drones along the line of control to stop infiltration attempts. India is looking to procure additional C-17 Globemaster from the US Air Force Reserves to fill emergency gaps. Ordnance Depot Ovadi has dispatched a batch of light specialist vehicles to Northern Command for deployment in forward areas. Indian Army along with Simple Forge Creations and IIT Hyderabad, have constructed the world's highest on-site 3D printed bunker at 11,000 feet in just 14 hours. A new revised standard operating procedure for grant of export authorization has been issued, that will further streamline export permissions to reduce the timeline. The DRDO is developing an electro-optical targeting system for the Gata Kunman combat aerial vehicle. An Indian Army soldier posted in J and K has been arrested for providing online training to the main accused in the grenade attack in Punjab last month. The Indian Air Force has issued a call to private sector companies to design and develop indigenous main rotor blades for its fleet of Mi-17 helicopters. Bangalore-based Dynamatic Technologies has inaugurated a new D-328 Eco Rear Fuselage Assembly Line. The DRDO had captured global attention with the unveiling of its Duani blended wing body hypersonic glide vehicle, and latest information suggests that the Duani's range surpasses Agni 5's range of 5,500 km, and could be around 10,000 km, enabling it to strike targets across Asia Europe and even parts of North America. With a length of nearly 9 meters and a width of 2.5 meters, the blended wing body configuration enhances aerodynamic efficiency, offering a higher lift to drag ratio, and also ensures stability and maneuverability at hypersonic speeds exceeding Mach 6. The Indian Air Force is pushing to secure access to the source code of the Rafale fighter jet to enable deeper integration of Indian-made weapon systems into the Rafale fleet, which reflects lessons learned from its operation of the Mirage 2000 fleet, during which the lack of source code access restricted the integration of indigenous weapons, and any integration of new weapons required collaboration with Dassault Aviation at a much significant cost. Source codes for systems like the radar and modular mission computer are closely guarded intellectual property, and sharing such sensitive data could risk compromising Dassault Aviation's competitive edge in the global market, particularly if it were to fall into the wrong hands through espionage or cyber threats. Dassault Aviation might propose alternative solutions, such as providing limited software development kits, or establishing joint teams for integration efforts, while protecting its intellectual property. Today's Top 3 Comments